should definitely Google him and check him out. He's a cannabis wizard, and he's also a fellow flower Emerald Cup judge, and we just got done judging a whole bunch of weed this weekend. That's right. It is the immortal Count himself, Matthew St. Germain. Thank you, Jason. Hi, everybody. I'm coming to you from this gigantic Chai Z nug today with a great story. Workers at two more cannabis companies are unionizing with the Teamsters and the United Farm Workers uh, Union, the UFCW. Nearly 100 drivers and warehouse workers at Grass Door, one of the largest cannabis delivery platforms in California, joined Teamsters Local 2785, uniting them with more than 300 of their union brothers and sisters at the company's Southern California location, who affiliated with the Teamsters in January. Kerry Qualls and Alexander Torres are drivers for Grass Door in Brisbane. And they say, why do I think it's important for cannabis workers to unionize? Well, grocery stores are union. Construction workers are union. Everyone else can unionize, so why not us? There are certain things I want that we don't get. Paid vacation, paid time off. And I think by joining the Teamsters, we can negotiate to get those things, Torres said. The Teamsters are great. If something at work comes, up, comes around and it's not your liking, they'll be there to back you up. Teamsters have been active in the cannabis industry in the past year, uh, including uni unionizing bud tenders at Captain Jack's in San Bernardino, California in February. Uh, miscellaneous employees Teamster Local eight, uh, 987 won an unfair labor practice complaint filed against SNDL Incorporated, formerly Sundial Growers Incorporated, at the Alberta uh, Labor Relations Board in Canada. In late November, Teamsters Local 777 helped organize an unfair labor practice strike outside Revolution Global's Enlightened Dispensary in beautiful Schaumburg, Illinois. United uh, Food and Commercial Workers Local 360 announced the decision by workers at Valley Wellness in Raritan, New Jersey, to unionize as members of UFCW. Oh, so that was food and commercial workers, not farm workers. As Valley Wellness notes on its website, providing great products starts with a great foundation. That means employing a knowledgeable staff and providing a welcoming environment. According to Valley Wellness, its staff knows cannabis inside and out and is noted as a key driver of customer satisfaction and ultimately the company's current future and success. Valley Wellness and its owner, <clears throat> Sarah Trent, has already proven to be a great addition to the growing New Jersey cannabis community, stated Hugh Giordano, UFCW Local 360's Director of Organizing. We're looking forward to a long and mutually beneficial relationship with what is one of the first standalone dispensary operators in the state, a company that provides a refreshing alternative to the large number of multi-state operators here. UFCW's recent activities in the cannabis industry include employees at Cura Leaf's Edgewater, New Jersey dispensary voted to organize as members in October, and workers at True Leaf, North Shore Medical Cannabis dispensary voted to join Local 1776 in September as well. And uh, I'm excited about this. I know there's a lot of up and down uh, people back and forth about the unions, but I think it's important that we all should remember the union is why there's no child labor. Union is why there's a five-day work week instead of a seven-day work week. Uh, unions are why the, the workday stops at eight hours and you start to get paid time and a half and double. And I know friends who are in different trades and are teachers. And those unions make sure that they have retirement benefits. They have um, sick leave. They get paid better. They're really looked after. And they do have to pay a little bit every month. But for that month, that, that bit they pay, they're they're taken care of for their the entirety of their life. And the, so I'm, I'm really interested to hear especially what Jason and Gretchen have to say about unionization coming to the cannabis industry. But everybody pile on.